There you go, that's the number 14. Ugly truth about women, they will never ever tell you. And it's a windy day here. I'm in the opera house. Not very, uh, not very good production of a video, not very good quality because I have to handheld it again. But the ugly truth number 14 is simply women love to be chased. They will always be in the position to be chased and they will never tell you that they would love to be chased. And uh, how I came to realize this, uh, let's start again <laughs> with a personal story because I believe if I tell you my personal story, it will be a lot greater impact than telling you the personal stories of someone else and this this is how I learned this little truth about women that they like to be chased they always want to be chased they love in it but they would never ever tell you that no woman no woman will ever ask you for a date if you're a man no matter what kind of glory you have no matter of your status no matter of your money or finances of your physique the six packs and the six nine yards the nine the six nine yards yeah doesn't matter it doesn't matter they will never ask you on a date because that is a secret you know they secretly want to ask you on a date if you have these qualities or if you exhibit some of the alpha male traits the or if you exhibit some of the better male traits also they won't take advantage of you but they would never ever tell you that why is that because they want to be chased forever and ever they want to be the chased and they want you to chase them so here is my story uh, that was my early years when i was young stupid naive i didn't know better and uh, I had this uh, a girl that I really, really liked. And here is the story. At that time, <laughs> this was 1989. 1989, can you believe this? 1989, I was fresh from the army, starting my DJ career. And I immediately got on the status level. Because, you know, in the club, in the club, the DJ is the most important the most important guy, the guy with the higher status is always the DJ, is not even the owner of the club, because they would come to me. All the girls would come to me to order their favorite songs. Other players will come, big guys will come and say, hey, here is this $10 or whatever back then in my time. Anyway, so my early career as a DJ was uh, somewhat like this. I went to work in a in a dormitory because nobody would accept me as a DJ in nowhere else so I started from the you know nobody knew me I was nobody so I started in this dormitory as a test the guy of the dormitory it was like a coffee shop but the guy decided to turn it into a club at night to compete with the big big club the big club was the official club of the University. This university had like uh, between eight to ten thousand students, young girls and young guys. And in this little uh, dormitory, there was a little coffee shop, and I started there as a DJ to help the nighttime revenue. Yeah, uh, the the club barely was fitting a uh, hundred people. That that was it. But there's always. 50 to 100 girls there and <laughs> 50 to 100 guys competing for space on the dance floor competing everywhere and I was the DJ and it was this beautiful girl I wanted so badly but I could not get her because she never gave me any indications of interest that uh, you know but but uh, <laughs> But there was other girls there to help me to help me to play a little game and i played the game very well uh, other girls was interested in me as well so 
you know in order for me to get to this girl I had to sacrifice I had to go through sleeping with a bunch of other girls her colleagues her uh, <laughs> classmates and some of them was not very pleasant you know one was like fatty not uh, attractive another one was not so beautiful but uh yeah but because i was the dj and i was the center of the attention and they was all flirty and uh i had to go through these girls finally to get to this girl finally and finally you know i got her finally i got her but uh, i learned something through this thing because because it was a secret flirtation this kind of thing like you know how it goes i know that you like me and uh, i know that i know that you like me and you know that you know that i like you but you don't give any signs and that's what this girl was doing she was exactly doing that she was giving me no any uh indication of interest but i knew it i knew it she liked me and back then i was not uh well, let's say i was not very good looking guy even now i'm not very look good looking man let's say if i can rate myself i would give my honest rating about three to four out of ten in all criteria, looks status and all this stuff anyway so uh I learned something from this girl after after I dated her and after we had you know going through the whole uh, the whole spill of the whole relationship we went through this relationship it was very short relationship but uh, I learned uh, this bitter truth even though even though she liked me and I knew that she knew that I know that she likes me even it was a known thing she never acted to give me any signs that i should be going forward actually i had to trick her by sleeping with other girls just to get her jealous a little game that uh i didn't want to play but yeah just for this girl i went through this i went through this shit. but i learned something i learned this bitter truth number 14 women like to be chased all the time they will be always the sexual the sexual object and you will be always the chaser but now you know now you know this truth they would never ever tell you and now that's a very interesting uh, point i'm making because why this video uh, it may help you because uh, you may be you may be a cool guy you may be a very decent man and that woman that you admire or secretly like maybe she also like you secretly or not so secretly so if you if you don't act upon uh, that would be one missing relationship for you maybe that could be your uh, long-term relationship maybe that could be your future wife maybe it could be uh, your dream girl but if you don't act swift smooth and fast you would never know because women will never tell you that because they're trained by the society the matrix the norms even if they want even if they want they would never ever tell you they will never ask you on a date they will never be straightforward now for us for the guys it's very uh, easy it's very easy for us to the guys if we see some girl to just go and tell her hey listen I like you let's see what can happen between us but no for girls is none of that the secret number 14 <laughs> women will never ever tell you that they would like to be chased that is your goal to chase them and uh, only only the players only the pickup artists and only the experienced guys in the relationship 
only they can flip the script they can only revert this frame and they can go through the uh, loops and the hoops and they can see through the matrix so they are the only one that know these little secrets and I'm here to tell you as well the secret number 14 right here <laughs> right here in the cold in the cold the middle of New York City right in the middle of Manhattan secret number 14 that woman would never ever tell you they like to be chased and that is forever if they are not chased by you they would be chased by other guys that you should know so now if you like this kind of talks please subscribe to the channel uh, send this video to a friend likes dislikes all this cool stuff and be a good player in life be a player or be played by life or some of these truths like truth number 14 that women always like to be chased but they would never tell you that